Fable 46. The ass, the lion, and the cock. An ass and a cock were feeding together in the same place, when on a sudden they saw a lion approaching them. This beast is reported above all things, to have an aversion to the crowing of a cock, so that he no sooner heard the voice of that bird, but he took to his heels, and ran away as fast as ever he could. The ass, fancying he fled for fear of him, in the bravery of his heart pursued him, and followed him so far, that they were quite out of the hearing of the cock, which the lion no sooner perceived, but he turned about, and seized the ass, and just as he was ready to tear him to pieces, the foolish creature expressed himself thus, alas, fool that I was, knowing the cowardice of point my own nature, thus by an affected courage, to throw myself into the jaws of death when I might have remained secure and unmolested. Moral. Words are good, when works follow. Application. How often do we meet persons in society, who have a habit of boasting themselves able to do many things, which, when put to the proof, they fay, hell of accomplishing. Who knows himself a braggart, let him fear this, for it shall come to pass, that every braggart shall be found an ass. They who thus overrate their own deeds and abilities, expose themselves to the ridicule of their companions, and risk the loss of the esteem and respect of those whose praise is worth having. The emptiest tub makes the loudest noise. There is often a great cry and little wool. A silent tongue makes a wise head. Little men found undertaking what the great alone may do, like all who their part mistaking, soon all ate their folly rue. And some I see, again, sit still and say but small, that can do more than they that say they can do all.